What's up guys and welcome back to the channel for another video on the entire Battlefront 2 situation going on at the moment. Today we've actually got some good news on the issues going on with the game right now, specifically the hacker glitch that has completely ruined the game for the best part of three months. We have a response, finally. We did speak about this entire issue a few days ago on the channel and like a day later we finally got a response. Now before we get into that though be sure to hit that subscribe button as 2022 is heating up for Star Wars games already and news and details are going to be coming hard and fast all year. And if you haven't already be sure to check out my second channel as I'll have my final thoughts on the book of Boba Fett over there. And I mean that recent episode of Boba the Power Ranger mopeds? Yeah yikes. But anyway, let's dive into it. We're going to keep this one short and sweet today. All right, so a bit of housekeeping for those unaware of what this issue is, even though I fail to see that a lot of people are actually going to not really know what it is because everyone in their nan knows about it. But Battlefront 2 has had an issue plaguing PC for about two to three months. And it's basically ruined the game. It's very hard to play the game without coming across this issue. And that is the one HP bug caused by hackers who are no longer on the server. Now I see a lot of people say, oh it's fine, there's legitimately nothing wrong, it hasn't happened to me. Newsflash, you aren't the center of the universe and this has ruined the game for almost everyone over the past couple months. So if it hasn't affected you, it's not because there is nothing wrong, you're just lucky. Congratulations. Now the most ridiculous part about all of this is we actually got this update on the fixed situation over on the Battlefield 2042 subreddit, which I don't know, I just find kind of funny. People are asking about Battlefront 2 over on 2042 subreddit despite it being a brand new game. <laughs> I mean that game really is just a complete and utter mess. But regardless, thankfully the question was asked because we got a response and it was actually good news. Kevin Johnson who goes by Total FPS, the absolute lad, is the community manager for Battlefield 2042 and he gave us an update on the situation. He had this to say over on Reddit. With folks only just returning to the office this past week, progress has understandably and unfortunately been slow through the holidays. However, progress was made towards getting a fix in place. It will be fixed and we'll keep you all updated when they can do so. So there you go, a fix for this issue is confirmed to be coming, which is great news because to be honest, with how silent things had gone, I thought they were just going to leave things completely and just let the game rot because Battlefront 2, they don't care. And I mean, we all know that they've got their hands very full with the dumpster fire that is 2042 at the moment, but it seems like they will set at least some resources aside to fix this issue. Now note Kevin did say he will keep us updated on when, so we know that there is a fix coming now, which is great, it's just a matter of when. Now when is that going to be? That is literally anyone's guess, and that's where things go a little bit topsy-turvy. I would not get my hopes up on this getting fixed in like a month or anything. I've come to expect the worst case scenario when it comes to this game. Nothing is ever rosy. But regardless, a fix has been confirmed. We just got to be more and more patient. Now there of course isn't anything here about console fixes for their own issues. So the state of console Battlefront 2 shouldn't change. Although I'm sure something will pop up eventually and make that more of a headache than it already is. But for now, the entire PC Battlefront community, which was thriving due to mods and the Project Kyber thing going on, it seems that they'll have their day sometime soon, and Battlefront 2 will just keep trucking along as the main Star Wars game. It's kind of sad that the main Star Wars game is a game that was cancelled nearly two years ago. I see a lot of casual people in the comments say that the game is dead. Problem is, Battlefront 2 is never going to die. Reason being, Star Wars fans are Star Wars fans. This is the only game for them. Battlefront 2 won't die until EA or Lucasfilm Games release a game that can actually replace it, or at least transition a lot of people over. And Star Wars Squadrons was never going to do that. Star Wars Hunters definitely isn't going to do that. And I mean Fallen Order sequel, the KOTOR remake, LEGO Star Wars, which are the next games likely to come out pending delays. They're probably not going to do it either because there isn't some real multiplayer there. There's nothing to keep them coming back. It's all single player. You play it and then you go back to the old thing. So Battlefront 2 is going to keep trucking along with its OG community for years until someone makes a large scale multiplayer Star Wars game because it's all single player coming up and people are going to go right back to Battlefront 2 when they're done with it. 
That's why I low-key think that Battlefront 2 getting a revival or a re-release isn't the worst idea. But either way, Battlefront 2 is going to keep kicking on until probably a Battlefront 3 happens and, I mean, who knows how long that'll be. But guys, that is about it for this video. Go ahead and let me know down in the comments your thoughts on all of this. The bug fix, Battlefront 2 situation, let me know. And if you found the video somewhat informative, drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and remember to check out my second channel in the top right corner of the video where my final thoughts on the Book of Boba Fett will be. But that's going to do it for me today. Thank you very much for watching and have a good one.